Hey everybody, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. Welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're returning. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a plan with me for the week of October 21st. So if you're interested in seeing this, please be sure to stay tuned. All right, you guys, thank you so much again for tuning back in with me today. I'm going to read our, I guess, quote, our, I don't know what the, what's this called. I don't know. Anyway, our card for today, it says, do you have a company? Do you work for a company? Do you know employees of a company? Reach out to them for ways that you can serve others in your community. I like that. So yeah, if there's any things in this, uh, you know, in the community surrounding you that you can do, to help serve. I'm sure, especially during this time, it would be very, 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 very greatly appreciated. So definitely reach out to that, to do that if you are able to. All right. So I have my Kawhi sub kit and I don't know what this is on it. Oh man, ink. Of course it's ink. This must have been somewhere nearby when I was doing my fountain pen inking. <laughs> Uh, I just keep finding more and more things that I've ruined. I'm using it anyway, though. So I do have this super cute s'mores kit because, you know, why not? The s'more, the merrier. Um, a lot of this I am not going to use for this portion of the... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. There's so much cuteness. So, yeah. Anyway, a lot of this I am not going to use for this part but I will utilize some of them in the back pages okay so all right oh I'm sorry ha <laughs> all over the place already Doo -doo. before I begin let me show you something that I got in the mail and I'm super excited about it this came from Archer and Olive <gasps> It's been a long time since I purchased anything from Archer and Olive, but I am so, so happy to be back. Um, if you are new here, first of all, welcome. <laughs> um, last year, I put together a reading journal, and it's my very first one. And I will have to say that I used it, but... Not in the way that I had intended on using it. So I feel like uh, I could have done I could have done better. But just like with my planner situation, part of the problem with it is it's just too big. It's too much space. So because I'm like, I'm not going to sit down and write a whole synopsis about a book like I just read it. So, <laughs> oh, this is such a fancy box. So anyway, I love the burnt bullet journal style of the, you know, of it. I love the idea of the bullet journal style. However, that particular book was too big. So I found a B6 size. Look how cute. Mm, what's that? Y'all, I feel like every time I've opened something lately, it has had something wrong with it. I don't, okay, we're not gonna, we're not gonna be precious about it. We're just gonna let it go. Um, but anyway, first of all, this box is so cute, but it's called Vintage Mermaid and it is a B6 size journal. Oh, that's beautiful. And Archer and Olive to me is like the best, you know, of the best in the bullet journal community. I mean, fight your mama, like don't come for me because, you know, whatever. It's my channel. I say what I want. But um, yeah, I love it. So you have your star white pages this beautiful like scales front um of course you have your regular title page and then your first page which i typically always glue those two together because i hate how it like has that but i haven't seen a book that's not like that so it's not really an archer and olive thing it's just kind of like books in general um the pages are unnumbered i do like the dots i think they are a good size some people don't like the darker dots. I personally do because it helps me to see. <laughs> we have a pocket in the back as per usual. You get your two bookmarks. One, of course, has the Archer and Olive logo on it. 
and then of course your pin loop and your elastic band. So I am very much, and I just love mermaids. I really do. I am very much looking forward to use, and it's like a, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't even like finish a thought. It's almost like that faux leathery kind of feel. So it is a hard cover, but it's also very soft, if that makes sense. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm looking forward to using this soon. Um, but it says it's 112 ultra thick, 100 G 160 GSM pages. And then yes, it is the vegan leather like cover. So beautiful vintage mermaid. I got a really good deal on it too, which is awesome. Um, I think I'm pretty sure it was on sale the day that I bought it. It doesn't say how much it was, but I'm pretty sure it was. So anyway, stay on the lookout for my new reading journal setup. I'm going to do some more research into reading journals so I can like, you know, make it more functional for me this year. Cause I think last year, like I really didn't know what I wanted. And although I could literally just use the exact same one, I just, I would rather, I would rather just start over. <laughs> So, anywho, also, if you are familiar with my channel, on these pages, <laughs> I typically use, well, not typically, I always use these for, like, health and fitness. So, you know, it's kind of ironic that I'm using a s'mores theme, but, um, yeah, s'mores, s'mores say fall to me. Nothing says fall to me more than s'mores. <laughs> Um, it's just the season of bonfires and campfires and, you know, late nights and lightning bugs and, you know, just all the things. End of summer, beginning of fall is just, you know, it is what it is. So I am pre-filming this. So it's actually Monday, oops, on the day that I'm filming this and I am off work today. Oh my goodness, I cannot put this down straight. So I decided to go ahead and film a couple of videos. So by the time you guys see my next video, hopefully these orange nails will be gone because I am over the orange. Sorry about the flipping. But yeah, I am so over the orange. It's been way too long since I've been able to get them done but you know life was life in and my schedule was scheduling and I just have not had the time so hopefully I can go on Wednesday which is the actual day this video will come out to get them done because I am not able to go do it tomorrow which for me is Tuesday because I have a meeting and a hair appointment so also needs to be done very badly <laughs> all right so yeah I like to use these pages as like my health um tracker log whatever sorry oh, that's it for flipping um I have been doing very very good with keeping track of like my weight and my exercise and just you know all the things um much much better job of tracking my blood pressure which is something that i have been um, very closely monitoring because i've been having situations where it has been elevating for some reason so i definitely want to you know just make sure that i'm paying attention to that i am switching this around a little bit because I feel like because I put things in the same spot every time if you are a planner person that stickers you know that it gets very bumpy in certain areas <laughs> so I'm hoping that if I start kind of switching up the orientation of the stickers it will alleviate some of that bump that bump um anyway sorry I'm tired I hope you guys are doing well. I, um, I'm feeling better. I was having some very severe, like, back pain, uh, which made, you know, sleeping nearly impossible. Um, so it has subsided a bit, but not completely which is you know it's annoying um but 
such is life. <laughs> there are way worse things that could be going on right now. So, oh man. I need some more. One, two, three, four. Oh no. I need some more hydrate stickers. I feel like I have some somewhere. I just don't know where I would have put them. Okay, so we're gonna do every other one. Um, But yeah, so I'm like, I don't know. I just, it's just hard. Like it's hard when you are, you know, first of all, I'm a chronic pain sufferer. So there really is like never ever <laughs> a day where I'm not feeling some sort of pain um, in, you know, random parts of my body. So let's start there. I'm never not in pain. <laughs> um, never. So, you know, there's always... There's always something which um, I guess after a while you just you just kind of get used to. I mean, it doesn't make it any better, but you do just get accustomed to being in pain. So uh, and this has been, you know, kind of my life for the past. Uh, I'd probably say it's been at least 10 years or so, I think. I kind of lost track. But anyway, so um, again, if you are not new here, <laughs> part of the reason for me having the weight loss surgery in um, 2020 was to alleviate some of the pain that I have in my back. Um, and it did, you know, work for the most part, but it did not completely take away the pain, but it definitely does make it better. Uh, so I am 100% grateful for that. But yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't alleviate the pain. It just makes it, I guess, more manageable or tolerable, which is awesome. So yeah, like I said, I'm very grateful for the relief. However, comma, what I have been plagued with, I would say lately, more often than usual, are kidney stones. And I have been trying very, very hard to, you know, kind of follow the diet that they recommended. And I have increased my water intake tremendously, um, you know, doing the exercising and doing the movement and doing just all the things. And I still am having issues with them. So at this point, I'm like, whenever my back gets to like this level of pain, I'm like, okay, is it just a regular back problem or is this another kidney stone? <sighs> Which I just don't even like, just don't even <laughs> feel like dealing with at this point because kidney stones for me require me to go to the emergency room because we don't have any imaging centers in my area that I'm aware of that's not in an emergency room. So, and unfortunately for me, one time I had a kidney stone, it was too large to pass. So I did have to go get it like surgically removed. And so now, you know, anytime I have one, I'm like, ugh, like, do you just wait and see if it's going to pass or do you go to the hospital to make sure that it's not going to get stuck? <laughs> um, and then another time I thought I was having an issue with a kidney stone, I found out it was actually a, my ovary that was trying to spin. So, which also earned me a day in the hospital. So, you know, it's just like, ugh. whenever I have these, these feelings, I'm like, I don't know what to do. Cause like, the idea of spending any amount of time in the emergency room just makes me completely like just anxious because I don't like, I don't like sick people. I'm, I'm just going to be real. I don't, I don't like sick people. I don't like hospitals. I don't like emergency rooms. Like I just don't, 
I don't like the idea of going in for pain and then potentially coming out with something like deadly. <laughs> And I know that sounds dramatic, but like, nah, for real. Like you go in with pain and then you come out with like, I don't know, TB because you touch something crazy. Like, I don't know. But that's just, that's just where my mind always goes. So I really wish like hospitals could have separate spaces. So people that are here for like, you know, injuries or bleeding or kidneys or livers, I don't know, whatever. Something that's not sick, not contagious. Like I really wish that they could make it possible to have two separate spaces because I feel like more people would go. <laughs> more people would go to the hospitals and to the emergency rooms and things when they need to instead of waiting until it's too late. Because I'm sure I'm not like the only person in the world that's scared they're going to catch something when they go to the hospital. Like, <sighs> so anyway, I try to avoid them as much as possible. And so right now I'm like, okay, let's you know, stay on some Tylenol, kind of monitor it. It's not getting any worse. It's not necessarily getting way better, but it's not getting worse. So we're just gonna we're just gonna ride it out a little bit longer. <laughs> See what happens. I'm I'm trying to find my other scripts. That's what I'm looking for. Because your girl has stickers everywhere. I know I think I had some. I feel like I had something that said water, which I was like, why did you even buy this? But now I'm like, where is it? Yeah, I feel like I had some. Hmm. This is the only place I can think of that they would be. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't know. Maybe I'll find them. Maybe I'll put them in the giveaway pile. Who knows? Okay, well, whatever. I know that's what that's for. Um, so anyway, then I like to take my dots, and I guess we'll use this brown color. And I do, ooh, which you probably can't even see. But I do basically five dots in the hydrate section for water, for like protein shakes, for coffee. Um, because for me, three bottles of water is like my goal. Uh, because I put it in my Stanley cup full of ice. So it is actually, you know, closer to four bottles of water. Um, and then I do at least one protein shake a day. And then, you know, I do try to get in, oops, totally missed that spot. I try to get in two if I'm able to. And then I'll, I do try to, you know, juice and things like that when I have the time. So yeah, that, those are all the things that, you know, I attempt to get in. Some weeks are better than others, but... I do my best. I do my best. That's all I can do is do my best. I love this. Freshly roasted nightly. Making s'more memories. Cute. Um, a lot of this I want to use in the daily pages. They see me s'more. <laughs> They see me smoring, they hating. I'm not gonna sing. That's hilarious though. Um, I do want one box. Go use this one to put my weight in for the week. And I am very proud to say that I have been consistently losing, which is amazing. Um, so I am very proud of myself for that. I have about, well, oops, as of last Wednesday, when I checked, I have five pounds left to go 
to reach the goal that I set for myself. So we shall see. Um, and I do plan on doing a like update very soon just to kind of let you guys know because I know like the last time I filmed a video I was talking about uh, you know all these grand plans to get started and then I actually didn't do any of the plans that I had <laughs> Woo! I actually didn't do any of the plans that I had mentioned in that video but since then <laughs> I have been doing a much better job of doing what I um, had planned to do. So, yeah, definitely making strides in the right direction. You cannot tell that by the s'more stickers, but I promise you, <laughs> I am doing better. <laughs> Um, I will say for me, what has been helping me the most is, again, increasing my water intake, which has been really fun. Not fun, but it's been really interesting because normally I am not a person that gets thirsty. Like I don't, for whatever reason, have that. Uh, I don't know. I guess my body is just so used to being dehydrated that it just doesn't even think about <laughs> hydration which is sad but true so now that i have been doing this i actually am like thirsty all the time which is amazing because it has made drinking water a lot easier because i don't have to force myself to do it now my body just naturally is like bro where's my water because and I'm saying all this because like literally my body right now is like, what are you doing? Like, why are you still talking and we're not drinking anything? Um, and of course, my Stanley's in the living room. So, ba -doom -boom. but yeah, so I am, I'm here for that. That has definitely been helpful. And yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is so cute. Ah! Sweet Kawhi stickers are just so whimsical and magical and just so cute oh i can't wait to do my daily pages so anyway yes my daily pages will be using this same sticker kit and that's it i'm gonna stop talking now and go get some water but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did as always please give me a thumbs up also do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so and hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever i post a new video you guys are so amazing be safe be kind or be quiet go out and find a way to serve others and i'll catch you in the next video